Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So in this session, I'm here with the uh, topic called how to import F5 coordinates inside the SolidWorks. So this is done by using the F5 tools website. From there, we're gonna just uh, download the coordinates with respect to the chord length, and I will create the F5 structure and also import into the answers. Let's get started with this. Yeah, so I need to create the head foil structure here. So for that, you need to go to Chrome and you need to search for uh, Nakao head foils and you need to select the first link. So let me just show you the same thing. Nakao head foil, if you just select it, uh, you'll get this head foil tools. From here, you can able to select. So right now, I'm lo looking for an ARCA 64, 3, 6, 18 FOIL. I need this. So if you want to generate the coordinates for this, you need to click on this option. Can you see this? Send to FOIL Flutter. If I do it, the same FOIL, NACA 64, 3, 6, 18, will be imported to the FOIL Flutter. Now here I need the uh, chord length of uh, 1 meter exactly but I want to scale it to 15 like 0 0.15 percent so it is 150 mm right so I'll simply click on float so it will float that airfoil with respect to chord length of 150 mm so once you do that you can export this as CSV files so just click on download the files will be downloaded. So just open it once and you simply need to copy these things. Can you see these XY coordinates? Control C. I'd like to create a new uh, Excel for this. So I'll paste it here. These are the XY coordinates. I need one more along C. So along C column, I'll create it. All coordinates are zero, so it should be at the center. Okay, so coordinates are ready. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll just save this on the desktop. You can create a new folder if you want. Uh, let me just specify on the desktop new folder. Uh, air for Okay, we'll open it. Airfoil. Coordinates. We'll save it as Excel. And now I'll save this as text file. So, which is very essential to add it into the uh, software. So, I'll just mention the same thing. Save. So once you save it, just close the file. So to do that, you can go back to the software. I'm using SolidWorks. I'll go with the part template. And here, we want to import that coordinates. Go to insert. I want to import the curve. That is curve through XYZ points. Browse for the location. This is under stop. I want text files. So this one, so not this one. Here I had saved it. Oh, don't think it got saved as text file. So let me just check the location. Okay, there's something else. Save it as location. Formatted text files. I think let me just check any other options that are available. Uh, text only. Let us see. So that would be the appropriate format. So let us see now. Yeah, it's available. Open it. 
and just click OK. It's ready here, isn't it? So let me just go to the front plane and uh, try to just convert this. So this is ready. Now, if you want to do the analysis, so you need to create the boundary for this. So for that, I would like to create the same thing. Let me go with the center circle like this and i need a line uh, which will be approximately like this so now it's time to define the dimensions for this so from here to here i'd like to have it as 400 mm i'm taking it just approximately okay so this i'll take it as 7500 that's a uh, diameter it has taken so divided by two be fine just radius now so this total length this is quite okay so now i'd like to add a certain thickness for the sketch so consider point for an mm okay so this is how we can create the uh airfall structure and you can just import it uh, due to the graphics it might look like this so once you import to some software enhances and all let us see how exactly it's gonna work save as oh i'd like to save it on desktop step by let us see this is done let me just check answers and uh You just import the geometry and check. I'll import the same geometry which I have saved on desktop. I'd like to open with design manga, not with this base plane. Just generate this and make it normal to view. And this is fine. Yep. yep, so this is how we can just uh, create this FOI model by using the SOLIDWORKS and uh, we can just import the same model inside the ANSYS by creating these step files and all. So I hope you got a clear idea about the same thing. So if you have any doubts, you can uh, comment below this particular video which I'll be posting. So that's all guys, thank you, stay tuned, bye everyone.